morning everybody uh didn't record a single thing yesterday hopefully that sun's not screwing up the picture didn't record a single thing yesterday um showed up was ready to go at 7 30 fire it up and i could hear this noise and a high-pitched squeal get out and look well there's a, a suction fan that keeps the radiator clean because there's a screen on it that turns and this fan sucks all the debris off of it so that way you keep your radiator clean during the day well the bracket that that fan was mounted on broke the fan fell and was kind of putting everything into a bind so i called bart we get started on it it was 1 30 in the afternoon before we had it all put back together it was a it was a project had to take the side off the one the one panel that doesn't open for God only knows what engineer reason. Have to unbolt it, take it all apart, get it out. Finally figured out how to get the fan out of there because it's all tucked in behind the def system. Get it out, go back to our shop, weld it together, put it back in. Yeah, it was 1.30 before I started chopping. And then to help Glenn finish the pivot he was on, go to the next field, and we're pulling trucks. And the corn is too green and it was just it was a frustrating day so here we have it friday friday the, the 18th yeah the 18th we've got a 15 20 mile drive to our first field sorry i keep looking at glenn to see if he's ready or not i'm ready to go because i didn't do much i didn't have any servicing to do this morning so that was kind of awesome but anyway, we got a 20 mile drive over there. We got a full pivot of feed going into this guy's own personal pit. Then we get to turn around and drive from that field 40 miles west back to our farm because we've got some feed that's ready. We'll work on that today and tomorrow. All goes well, maybe, maybe. We'll take Sunday off, which would be awesome. I'll probably sleep half the day. Maybe my allergies will finally quit. Wouldn't that be nice? So, let's see how this goes. good in the trucks keeping track of the loads there because we don't have a scale so we send them all to town which is I don't know eight miles away to weigh one load and then just keep track of the rest and we'll compare that with the yield monitor because the yield monitor is never perfect plus we only have one functional one the lens is all over the place so we went ahead and weighed them so we'll see how this turns out but plan is now as soon as we finish this that nice little two hour drive clear back over to the water so we keep going around the room
grab the camera real quick while I'm waiting on a truck. You can see, I think you can see, right over there, right behind Glenn over there, is the pit where them sheds are. We got nine trucks. And now we're having to start waiting because the pit is super narrow. Oh. The pit is super narrow. Can't fit a truck and the tractor in the pit at the same time. The Packer man was just telling me. So what he'll do is back, back out of the way, let two trucks get in there and unload. Then they'll leave and he'll pack it. So yeah, it's just nice and slow. Luckily we got good cell phone coverage here, so I've been keeping up on Instagram over here. It's 2.05. Just finished that. Lucky me, I had a skunk on the last pass. So this thing smells delightful. Yeah. Anyway, moving clear back over to Lamar, like I was saying earlier. I'm betting it's going to take close to two hours for us to move over there. It's pretty close to 40 miles, so. Oh joy, this is going to be fun. So I made it here uh, about, was it about 3.30? So it actually only took an hour and a half. It was just a little bit shorter than I was thinking when I was doing the mileage. Moisture is good, the freaking yield is great. This stuff's yielding good. You can tell it's really tall, it's really thick. No grain whatsoever, because that's what it is. If you watched my videos earlier this spring, early summer about planting the feed, you'll know we planted two types. We planted a silage variety and a grass. This is the grass. The grass varieties were initially planned on the bale, but we've got a cow-calf producer that's not too far from this field, only 600 ton. So this works out perfect. This stuff works great for silage. The problem is normally feed takes forever to dry down. And by the time it gets dry, it hey, Dale, makes a freeze. This is a flood field. They want you to go all the way to the top or all the way to the bottom to turn. Otherwise, they're going to have hard. It usually takes a hard freeze. Bounce some little birds to get it to finish finish off. But what happens is that plant is dead, you catch a wind, and it's flat on the ground, and then you can't hardly cut it. This year, being a little short on water, having some crazy heat this fall, feed is ready a couple weeks early than usual. Normally we don't start on feed till right around the first of October. So it's ready early, we're able to get in and harvest it while it's still standing. If it starts to go down, we've got that other head sitting ready to go. So, we gotta get 600 ton cup this afternoon to go into this pit, and then we'll call it a day. Let you know how it goes. Alright, everybody. I tried to get you a update last night, but the battery was dead. We, we finished the field we were on, went and started on a half pit that we had that was oh, about a half mile from that field. Cut five or six loads out of that. And that got us to the 650 ton that guy was wanting for his pit. By then it was 6 o'clock, so we just went ahead and called it night. Now today, uh, we started the day a little different. Bart was running this machine, so I could go watch my daughter and son play soccer this morning. I just, it's 1.15 now. I got in here, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes ago. We're chopping through some of ours. This is the silage variety. I don't know how well you can see it on camera. That stock is about three times the size of the stuff we were chopping yesterday. Unfortunately, we were so short on water this year, this stuff never got a chance to fully mature and reach its yield potential. Whereas that grass, because of the moisture it requires, it almost hit it. In town, granted, where we were, east of Lamar there, that got a little more water than this stuff did. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. So this stuff, it just barely tried to start heading out and it was done. So that really killed us on yield. This year, it, it might have been beneficial to just plant everything to the grass variety and not have tried the silage because of our water situation. 
According to the yield monitor, it's yielding very well. It's still yielding in the mid-teens, which, I mean, this is for <laughs> in that camera. For this year, I mean, that's that's nothing to complain about. And plus, this is behind wheat. I mean, we got a crop off of this. This is a second crop. So that makes me feel even better. Well, I'm thinking where we do a second crop, we probably ought to go with the grass variety and leave this silage variety for stuff that we can get a full growing season on just to help it develop better. I don't know. But Glenn took, we gave Glenn the day off. He's at home napping. He's he's getting more out of him. Can't blame him. He's wearing everybody out. So he's got the day off, got a relative running the other machine on their own farm, going to a small pit, so. Yeah, we'll just keep marching through the acres. Rumor has it we're gonna take tomorrow off, tomorrow's Sunday. It'll be the first Sunday off since we started a month ago. Yeah, today's Saturday. Monday would have been a month ago. Four weeks. That was a fast four weeks. So, we'll keep moving along. See what we can't get on film for you. So it's right at 5.30 on Saturday night. We went ahead and called it night already. I'm getting ready to blow this down. The main reason we called it nice because the wind's blowing like 30 mile an hour. It's real delightful weather for doing this. So yeah, I'm going to blow this off, call it a night. Pick this video up Monday because we're not chopping tomorrow. At least. The last plan was no chopping tomorrow, but that tends to change around here, so we'll see. Yeah,